And on that latter hearing, uh, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley. He's uh, joining us now with the details. So um, what questions are we trying to figure out from Sam Altman here today? Or what do we think that Congress is trying to get to the bottom of here? Yeah, really what's going on here is basically this is uh, Congress saying we don't know what to do yet with AI and we want to have these hearings and these discussions to determine just what kind of rules and regulations, if any, we should put in place. Now, uh, some organizations like uh, OpenAI's, uh, OpenAI and Sam Altman have said there needs to be some kind of guardrails put in place. We've seen the likes of Microsoft and Google talk about ethics and AI and how they're trying to put their own types of rules in place for this. Uh, and uh, you could see there Senator Blumenthal giving his uh, opening remarks uh, in this hearing. Uh, essentially, what you can expect is for uh, the senators to go back and forth questioning Altman as to uh, what we can expect from open AI, what we can expect from artificial intelligence, uh, and what kind of technologies this could then lead to. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of questions as to uh, the authenticity uh, or uh, correctness of some of the responses that you get from uh, the likes of ChatGPT uh, or Microsoft's uh, Bing, Google's Bard. You know, they're known to produce what's called hallucinations, which is really just, you know, making up seemingly correct uh, statements out of whole cloth. Uh, there's a 60 Minutes interview uh, with Sundar Pichai where uh, Bard made up a, a book that doesn't exist. And so, you know, these are things that do happen. Uh, and so this is something that they're going to have to discuss and, and kind of reconcile, you know, where you allow the technology to move forward to ensure that you're getting the most out of it while also trying to prevent the worst possible outcomes, which you know uh, could be things like election interference, uh, disinformation, misinformation, um, uh, deep fakes, things along those lines. Dan, while we've got you, since you mentioned Microsoft and, and OpenAI, we've seen some big investments in AI from names like Stanley Druckenmiller and David Tepper as well. So what can you tell us there? Yeah, both of these individuals, obviously, you know, big names in investing, but they're making moves into AI, uh, specifically when it comes to uh, the likes of NVIDIA uh, and Microsoft. And those are two of the major plays that people are using to get into the AI space. Uh, NVIDIA, one of the big chip makers that's uh, available that does produce the kind of AI chips that are powering this kind of new technology. Uh, and then Microsoft, obviously, with its tie up with open AI exposed there and putting those technologies to work via its Bing uh, and then its uh, productivity services, security services, they're all getting that generative AI treatment. So, you know, NVIDIA, one of the, the names, um, you know, AMD, Intel still uh, behind, but talking about AI. Uh, and then you have, you know, essentially any technology company at this point short of Apple, really, you're talking about generative AI and, and the capabilities that they, uh, the technology can provide. But, you know, I think the, the biggest plays right now, at least as far as what I'm seeing, are definitely NVIDIA and Microsoft. And that's why you're seeing these investments being made.